So I just figured I'd do a quick video of this bike here I got in the shop. Uh, this is a 2006, uh, what is this thing, an American, uh, American Performance Cycle, I believe it is. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. It's awfully long. As you can see, I got my handy lift table here with the chopper extension on the front. And this thing is still hanging a good foot over the back end of this thing. Uh, it's kind of a pain to work on some of these things just because they're so impractical, but this thing is pretty neat. You got a 300 rear tire on this thing. I mean, just for size comparison. It's a huge, huge rear tire with some airbrushing done. Supposedly the story with this bike is it was it was built out in Las Vegas um, for one of the local insurance guys in the area. Uh, it's got an S&S 124 inch, and these are the diamond cut heads. This is you know, pretty darn expensive engine. It's got the electronic compression releases. It's got a six speed. Uh, this thing is all tricked out. And it's in here for some minor repairs. This caliper is integrated into the fork. So the brake line that was in the middle of this fork tube I had to replace. And also it's got these Climax hand controls, which are kind of funky. So he lost his clutch, well, the slave cylinder portion of it. And so I've been kind of working on this thing. So he's got brakes, clutch at work, and just a couple odds and ends here. I think one of the exhaust studs in the back keep falling out, so I'm gonna fix that for him. And so this is the leak, as you can see down here. This the slave cylinder for the clutch is all hydraulic as well, and it's dripping just a little bit. So we gotta get that taken care of. So what I've been working on, for the most part, with this bike is this right here. As you can see, I got these Fregola fittings for the braided stainless line. This is 3AN line, and it goes all the way down through the handlebar. So that was kind of neat. So. That'll get back together soon, get him out of here so we can get back on the road. And I've also got my mother's lawnmower in here. We're doing some repairs on it. One of the spindles on this thing. Started out life like this. These plastic cheesy fittings. This thing is garbage. So she hit something with it and totally ripped off the front wheel. So I used a piece of three quarter inch water pipe and kind of welded it all together and made it work. So. I stuck a grease fitting on there, so at least now that won't fall off. So just a few little projects going on in the shop today. Just figured I'd take some time and showcase some of them. So working on this lawnmower here, looking at the front end, this is what was left of the bushing that held the spindle in place. Kind of cheesy, it's all plastic. So I made this to go in its place. So I ground the original spindles, or front axle, whatever you want to call it. I made this to fit inside there. So I'm just gonna fill this with a weld on the top here, and that will be the new spindle with a grease circ. That should get her back in action. It's a quick fix, you know, but the mower isn't really worth all that much, so it doesn't make sense to go sink a ton, bunch of time and money into this thing, so. That'll get her going again until she hits another fence post or something, but there it is. On to the next one.